time to decide who's going to die today. Why that attitude? What's the point of anyone going out there if that's what you think? Frank just thinks the worst. I mean, someone's been out, grabbed a few things, we can all relax, yeah? Exactly. Well, uh, after talking to you all, uh, either together or in private, I, I think it's safe yeah. to say that we are all in agreement that after 20 days inside of here, one of us has to go out to um, assess the situation. In fact, after hearing what Frank uh, has been well, telling me about... Who's going then? Yeah, as I was saying, after talking to Frank regarding the water situation and to Denise about the rate at which our food supplies appear to be going down, it is vital that someone ventures forth... So and who's going? I'm not going, that's I'm for sure. Going. I'm not that keen on going out either. And I'm an older lady. Yeah. It's not really a job for any of us girls, I reckon. Oh, what about her? She's been out. Yeah. yeah, well, we can't really count her, can we? Why? Why can't you count me? L l let us not deviate away from the reason that we have decided to sit and meet. It, it is vital that someone ventures forth to replenish dwindling supplies and possible... Oh, so who is going? Well, obviously, unless we can get a volunteer from among our more able survivors, we will have to select a volunteer between us. Well, all right then. We'll all pick you. I'm, I'm sorry, no, 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 not, not, not like that. No, you, you, you've completely misunderstood what it was I was trying to no, say. No, 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 you said we could pick, so we pick you. No, 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 no you, you, you don't quite understand. It can't work like that because there has got to be a group vote, which can only take place after a discussion of who is best suited to such an adventurous endeavour. We, we must, as a group, pick the person best suited to such an imperative task. If you keep glancing over at me while you're spinning out fancy words to get me out that door, you're going to regret it. Never would it have crossed my mind to infer such, such, such a... Th 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 Merely with your experience in these matters, I, as I subconsciously came to the Before conclusion... Before you get yourself you... in more trouble with Kid Dynamite, we need to realise what's needed, what's going to happen. And more importantly, who's the best person to go? Just because the kid can look after herself, that's not the best reason to send her out. There's more use keeping her here and sending somebody else out there who doesn't actually do anything. We don't know how long this is lasting. So sending out people with talent while keeping people whose only talent is being able to eat more than anyone else, well, isn't really forward thinking now, is it? Well, well I do the cooking every day and you all love my cooking, don't you, dears? Plus, I'm an older lady, and... and I'm the only one who makes an effort to keep this place clean. Denise is right. I'm always helping out looking after this place. Like I said before, I don't think this is a woman's job. Why not? Look. Frank is the only one here who understands the water and the electric system. He, he just cannot go out. And I think I'm needed in here because I'm the only qualified nurse. <laughs> Ten years ago. I'm still a qualified nurse. I'm not so sure we need any pretend models, though, do we, love? Oh, you fucking cow. Now, listen. I've imbibed either mushies, weed, coke, ecstasy or acid every day since 1983. <laughs> I don't know whether it's relevant but it's a fucking fact. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I got feet. <laughs> Look, I know I've not been much use in here. Now, now I know, but if I leave that door, I won't even remember where this fucking place is. Especially if I manage to find intoxicating substances. <laughs> You've been warned, man. <laughs> Right, <clears throat> you just need to listen now. Uh, I'm just going to say it straight because it's not fair. You guys can't over all look over here and say that I have to go. I'm, I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. There's at least one actual nutter sitting at this table. Why not him? He's an obvious choice. Look, 
Is this really the way it's going to work? I mean, I don't want to sound like a pussy or anything, but I just don't think I'm the right man for the job. I mean, you don't want to send me. I wouldn't have a clue what I was doing. I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, causing a fuss or anything like that, but I just <clears throat> don't... Well, with, with, with my medical condition continuing to hinder me all the time, I really don't think I'm an appropriate candidate for such a task. My nerves wouldn't withstand with leaving whoa. this place. I mean, G Gina, Gina whoa, will whoa, tell you if you wait. don't believe me that I, I'm simply... Look, okay. <sighs> do, you, do you realise the trap that you're all falling into here? Do you? This is becoming a cliche of every moody film ever made. I mean, fuck, they, they even make jokes about it. It's that dumb. Something bad happens and the black guy dies first. I'm, I'm just, you know, don't, don't stoop down to that level, people. I mean, come on. Don't be that guy. Don't, don't be that, that shitty film that makes the easy decision and sends the black guy out to certain death. Come on, people. Don't, don't be that easy to read. And I'm not trying to be funny here, but there are better suited people sitting around this table. I, th I think Sai's got a point. I mean, surely if we want the job done properly, then neither of those two are more qualified. I've only been that side and that side. I haven't been any further than around the sides of the building. Well, it's a lot further than any of us have been. Then maybe you think it's time for someone else to do something. You know, maybe someone who's done nothing so far. And you, you just remember who invited you into their place before you start volunteering people. Well, well, if, that, well if that's the point then, to be fair, Smith hasn't done anything apart from hoard biscuits. Excuse me, excuse me, that is a complete fabrication. I merely saved my first two rations of biscuits and had them both in one go. If there is a prerequisite for going, I think slander one's fellow survivors could become the 11th commandment. What does he even mean when he talks? <laughs> I've got the foggiest. I simply... What he means I... is, if somebody lies about anybody in here, then they should go out in punishment. Is that the rule now, but then? Is what the rule? They're liars. They're the ones that have to go out and look. Huh. Well, if that's the case, the first night we were in here, that one told me he was an international agent and drove a Porsche. <laughs> Did you? Well, only because she told me she was a top actress and model. Uh, I've done a photo shoot, haven't I? Y you paid for it. You fucking paid for it yourself. Didn't know you did acting and modelling. She doesn't. What's the point? She's lying. Says the international agent. Oh, exactly. fuck off. No. I vote for Tom. Whoa. You fucking prick. At least I'm not going around saying Frank's in the EDL. Wanker. In the what? I never said you were in it. I just... Well, come on. It's just me then. No one else. So just because I look like a racist in your eyes, that means I must be one. I never said that. So I reckon you've got a tattoo of a swastika what on your shoulder, Frank. What the fuck are you doing? I have. No, you've just... To you, you are. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, are you telling us that you're a Nazi? That tattoo was older than most of the people in this room. I'm not that person anymore, and I haven't been for a long time. Sit down! Look. We can sit here arguing and accusing each other all day. But I think that instead of telling tales like kids, we should be making a decision. At the end of this, someone's got to go out there, find what we need and bring it back. Did you say weed? I don't know if we're going to draw straws, play rock, paper, scissors or just vote on each other. But I do know that instead of sitting around bitching, we need to be making that decision. <clears throat> With my experience, I, I am positive that I can come up with a foolproof method for choosing what the perfect... What is your experience, Smith? I'm head of personnel at Lima, which is, as you probably know, the largest training and recruitment agency for young people in the whole of Great Britain. So, who is left to recruit or train? There is that point to be clarified, but, but the, the skills I have... No, 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 no! So you have no skills! So you need to shut up! 
it for once. And you can show up as well if you've got nothing useful to be saying. Is everyone got it? I just don't think I can go back out after what after what happened with Mother. I'm just thinking Shut about Shut up, it. Smith. Right now. Yes, yeah, Smith, we've all lost someone we love. All I was trying to say, Frank, is that I just don't think I'm up to venturing outside. I mean, when it comes down to it, I don't know what I'd do. I would cope. Well, how would any of us? Well, quite. But unlike you, I had to see my mother being... to believe it. Seriously? Yeah. How? She's about six stone, ringing wet, and she's about this big. You know when you see a little Jack Russell, and it's it's a tiny little thing, but it's going fucking mental at a 17 stone milkman. And the milkman's backing off, because this little ball of fluff, well, is fast and vicious and wants to rip his leg off. Yeah. And the milkman could probably squash it if he wanted to, but he still backs up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Imagine that Jack Russell with a brain and a big fucking knife. That bad? Yeah. Me and Denise, we'd have been fucked if she hadn't turned up when she did. You're going to need both of these working, aren't you? Just calm down. It's all right. Listen, I don't tell you how to go out there and fight. So I trust you not to tell me how to look after people's health. Give. That's better. What happened to him? Panic attack. Severe one. You're better off just letting him get on with it, to be honest. Gina, I, I'd just like to thank you for assisting me there. It, it's not a common occurrence, but in times of stress, I have suffered anxiety before, and it can be quite debilitating. Um, anyway, now we're all seated again. I must draw our attention back to our current. Gym. You seem all right but, now, though. Well, sure, but th that's just why I don't think I should be the one to venture out. I, I, imagine if that happened to me outside. The, the consequences. Get on with it. Have we decided who's going yet? I don't even see why anyone has to go. We seem fine. It is vital that we replenish diminished supplies and establish exactly what is going on Look, in the absence. Someone needs to go, but I mean, it, it might be fine out there now. There was news on the radio before it cut out of a safe haven outside the city centre. I think it's really important we find out if there's people out there and where they are. 24 Trafford Avenue. Where's that, Monty? My dealer's house. Could be a game changer. We are all in agreement that contact with the outside world is of the utmost priority to us. So who's going then? Oh, give it a piss. worry too much. I think you'll find out soon enough.
What are you doing? Do not waste water on an extra flush. We are not in a position to waste water, are we now? I suppose not. Well, we find ourselves in quite a pickle, don't we? Do you? Well, yes, it's obvious. Surely you can see that. Can I? Oh, ho, oh, oh, very droll. It's coming down to the nitty-gritty, so to speak. The, the choice of who stays here in safety. Do you want to go? Because I certainly don't. No, not really. A, a, a moment, please. Do you want to live? What? Do you want to live? Do you want to survive the predicament that is fast approaching me, you and young Sai? What are you on about? Oh, come now, I know you're smarter than you look. It's fairly obvious that the choice is going to be between me, you, and young Sai. You do realise that, don't you? Why else? No one is going to pick Monty or Denise. It's basically patricide. Frank and the Tiny Terror are far, far too useful and downright scary for anyone to pick them. Are you following? Yeah. Leanne is a good-looking young girl, so no one's going to pick her. And Gina is a nurse, so no one in their right mind is going to pick her. Do you agree? Um, yeah. So that leaves me, you, and young Sai as the favourites. Now, it's fairly obvious that Frank will pick Sai, and the wildcat seems to have developed an affinity with him. Now, I'm afraid, between you and I, the ladies may be voting for one of us. So it's going to be a close-run thing. And who can understand which way Monty will vote? Mm. So it's up to us to take our future into our own hands, isn't it? Yeah. It is going to be a close-run thing between you and the young and well-conditioned side with me coming just behind you. Now, if we agree to both vote for him, we save both of us from going out. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, he has the body of an athlete. He has the best chance of any of us of returning safely and bringing succour to us all. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Do you agree that for the good of the group, we both vote for Sai. As, as me, you dying out there isn't going to help anybody survive. I don't we'd particularly enjoy the experience either. Mm. No, but it's my mate. There are no mates. Mm. There is only life or death. Those are your choices. So it's up to you now. Which will you choose? Oh, fuck off. Just kidding, mate. I wonder what it's like out there now. I'm really worried. But I would rather have Frank and Billy here in case something goes wrong. I mean, do you think that pair are actually capable of protecting us? I don't think he ever was an agent, you know. I think you're probably right. You don't think they'll really want an older lady going out there, do you? I don't know. But look, the three of us have to stick together. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Serious now. Three of us, all right? We'll be all right then. I just don't feel very comfortable with this. Don't worry. It's OK. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> we now have to decide the manner of choosing. Are we all agreed that an anonymous method, such as drawing straws, could result in the wrong person getting the wrong? Yes. Therefore, I think it has to come down to an anonymous vote. Uh, names will be put in a hat, and we can then count the votes, uh, and then we will know that everything... Not anonymous. You want to send someone out there, then you let them know you're picking them. People are doing what they think and making choices behind closed doors. Not a good way for this group to stay strong. Do we have to give a reason for our vote? It's not fucking big brother. You vote, that's it. The loser goes through the door. Can we all agree that whoever has to go out makes contact and comes straight back? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Good. Is that what yeah. Naturally. 
anyone did decide to cut and run, I would leave here, I would find them, and I would bring back their ears. Well, if you put it like that, how could we refuse? I'm in. Yeah, <sighs> why not? Nothing better to do. Not now, though. It's too late in the day. There's no good at hovering over someone's head all night. We'll vote in the morning. What's on your walkman? It's an iPod. I've got all the greats on here. Aretha, Benny King, Percy Sledge. <laughs> For five minutes, I can forget. I suppose when the generator packs up, I won't even have this. I'm a prodigy man myself. Yeah. Let's have a listen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy it together. Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Be honest, mate. I'm fucking shit in it. I don't want to go out there. No, 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 me. Then again, whoever has to go, they might be the only person with a chance to get out. I mean, we don't know how bad it's going to get in here, do we? What do you reckon? Oh well, yeah. All I'm saying, if it is me, I'm going to make a break for it. What about her? Fuck her. Nah. If it's me, I'll go for it. I won't bottle it. Yeah, you, you could do it though, couldn't you? You're in good shape. Who are you voting for anyway? Who do you think? Fucking Adolf over there. Do you think that's wise? Fuck him. He'll be voting for me. Who are you voting for? I haven't decided yet. Why are you so sad? Why are you so angry? I asked first. I used to be a horrible man. Really horrible. I did some nasty things to people. Things I can't bear to remember now. Problem was, I hated everything in the world. <laughs> and he hated me right back. But then there's this woman. She came into my life and decided that I wasn't as horrible as I was making out. She insisted it. Oh, and she was beautiful. She could see the good in anyone, you know. And eventually, she taught me how to do the same. I'm telling you, it was like she turned on the lights. Suddenly, I could see everything. And just like her, all I could see was good. She changed me. She made me the man she believed I was that first time that we met. Right in front of my eyes, there was nothing, nothing I could do about it. Didn't that make you hate the world again? No. I 
Well, yeah. But every time I was getting angry, all, all I could see was her. I just know, uh, I just know how disappointed she'd be in me. So I don't hate anything anymore. I'm not angry. I'm just sad. Really fucking sad, actually. Well, go on then. I answered your question. I don't think it's fair you answer mine. I'm not angry, Frank. I'm just logical. I've learned how the world works quicker than most other people, just because I had to. Where I'm from, if you're not the one who's stamping on someone's head, then soon enough someone's going to be stamping on yours. Everyone I've ever known, they just want to take from each other. They want to watch the world burn. Fuck them. Do you know what happened to them? They got took apart and all I could think was good. I'm here, they're not. Angry. Just practical. That used to be my excuse near enough. But you know what she told me? There's more to life than that. Yeah. Well, I hope she's right. The point that I've been trying to make to everyone is that both of you are essential to the well-being of this camp for the most obvious of reasons. However, the contributions that I myself make are just as important, if in a completely different way. I I'm sure you both understand that already. However, the influence that you can bring to bear may be able to, uh, to, to, to sway some of the... Yes, well, um, thank you both for your time. Mind if I watch? Of course not. Just doing a bit of a makeover. Could be the last bit of pampering I ever get. So I'm going to enjoy it, chick. Do you want some? Some what? Makeup. I don't know. I've never done it before. Done what? You've never had a pamper day? No. And I've never worn makeup. What? You've never worn makeup? Not even, like, in your bedroom for fun? How can you have never worn makeup? I just haven't. Ever? No. Sit her down. Come on, you. This is hold on, hold on! Should we start with the foundation? I think so. Does it hurt? God, no. Lean back. Frank. All that stuff about the tattoos. 
Didn't bother me one bit. I mean, size my mate, but I didn't agree with all of that. What I'm saying is, this vote in the morning, I want you to know that I'll be voting with you. I, I think we should stick together. Do you know what I mean? I'll be voting the way, the way you do. I just think in a, situ in a situation like this, we need to back each other up. Gorgeous, fantastic chick. Does it look nice? Yeah. Let me show you. And that's nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you look beautiful. It really suits you. Oh, I reckon I'm gonna go show Frank. You do that. Has has Monty spiked me? That is some weird shit. She's even scarier with makeup on than when she's just smiling. What is going on tonight? <sighs> what do you reckon? I mean, they said it looks all right, but I'm not sure. See, what did I tell you? There's more to life. What do you do that for? Yeah, well, maybe when you stop being so sad, I'll get him to put it back on. Get our minds right. We vote first light. I can use my uh, lipstick. I don't feel comfortable doing this. How do we do this? Like, how does it work? You vote. Everyone votes. The person with the most votes goes out the door to die. The rest of us sit in here snug. Did we decide that older people weren't going to take part? The decision was reached that everybody of eligible age would be in the vote and the physical disadvantage would not be a prerequisite to exclude any of the participants from opting out. So, we choose who we want to go out and then what? We show them, we count them, and some poor bastard has to go out there. Shouldn't two people go? It might be safer. 
Yeah. The only safety is in silence. Two sets of footsteps are louder than one. It's harder to hide two people than one. Okay. Do we do it now then? B b before we start, I would just like to say a few words. Whoever is appointed to walk out of that door is carrying the collective safety of this shelter on their shoulders. Now, although that makes them a hero, we must be careful to pick somebody who is capable of bearing that burden. Now, whilst the vote is entirely the will of each individual, I would strongly advise you to... Shut up! Shut up for one minute. Just stop talking and bothering me with your constant dribble. Some of us have got to make the most important decision we'll ever make. And all I can hear is your moaning, droning voice constantly going on and on and on. Just shut up. I want to do this while my mind is on this planet. Your voice makes my head drift. Let's all take a moment's silence where everyone can write their vote when they're ready without having to listen to your noise. Is everyone happy with that? votes signed, sealed and ready for counting. Fuck's sake. That obvious. This is an absolute joke. Uh, order, order. This isn't a court of law, Smith. Oh. Yes, well, maybe it should be. Now, we have to reveal and count the votes. I, I think Leanne, having finished first, should go first. kidding me? I voted for Tom because he lied about being an agent and he also said that I wasn't an actress or a model and that caused me deep emotional hurt. I don't think you own a Porsche either. Lee, you're not a big brother. You just turn around and show the vote. Okay. Okay. No secrets here. We all know why I'm voting for him. You next, Smith. What have you got? My vote was influenced by such factors as physical fitness, a knowledge of the job. Shut the up, Smith. Area. Just get on with it. I would have thought as a practitioner of the medical arts that you would have had a certain understanding Your of my... Panic attacks are fake, Smith. showing their snake collars now. <laughs> Monty, I don't know what I've done to deserve this from you. Does this count? I'm an older lady. Monty, why have you put Denise's name on your card, love? Denise is my duck egg. Oh. She's the best. Who else would I have written? <laughs> There's no contest as far as I'm concerned. And anyway, I'll be honest, 
I don't know why anyone would vote for Harry Trapper. <laughs> Oh, this whole thing is flawed. It'll have to be redone and recounted. It's, it's obviously a flawed system. No. Not happening. The vote stays. I'm pretty sure Monty's vote isn't going to send Denise out there. But if it does, I'll take her place. So the vote stays. Denise, show your vote next. Calm down. You'll be fine. <sighs> I don't like liars. I'm not going to moan, Duck Egg, but I'm surprised you didn't pick me. Oh. Pitbull. I see you. Tom, can you go next, please? Can I have a little bit longer? <laughs> Put your pen down now. Yes. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Why have you done what why have you done that? You've picked him over me. It's only his vote left. Do you know what you've done? You fucking killed me, mate. You've you've killed me. I'm sorry. I just just I just didn't fuck think. off. This is your fault. You did this. Stop being a child. You cast it. It's your vote. Mate, it just just it just got in my fuck head. Off. Counting the votes, Frank's vote puts Tom as the clear winner. Loser, more like. Yes, well, perhaps that is more apt. Either way, no one can deny that this has all been done fairly and correctly. There is no disputing that everything here has been done by the book. I just, just don't get it. Frank, I thought, I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't like you because you're a lazy little prick who's good for nothing. That's it. There's no other reason. Do you understand me? That's it. But you, you judge a man who doesn't exist anymore and you ended up judging wrong. You don't know me at all. Neither of you do. She did.
Hang on. Yeah, but to be honest, if I can't outrun them, I'm fucked anyway. Good luck, though. Listen, move slow, not fast. Quiet, not quick. Fast makes noise, and noise will get you caught. All the best. 24 Trafford Avenue. Tell him Monty sent you. You'll get a great deal if he knows I sent you. Yeah, all right, Monty, I'll try and stop off there. Nothing to say for once, Smith. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Sorry, mate. Get back safe, you twat. Find safety, what happens eh? Well, we all stick together, right? I mean, we all know each other now. It's definitely safety in numbers. Even Smith. I won't go that far. Even Smith. Listen, somebody's got to keep an eye on that pair. Make sure they get to the church on time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got cut. Oh, Jesus, Monty. <laughs> Shouldn't have sent him out there. he would be all right. he would be back. What's your plan? What do you mean? After all this? I don't know, I'm just gonna make myself busy, I think. Reckon you'll need someone to watch your back? Yeah. I like that idea. I'll take first watch. Did you hear that? This whole thing's over! Smith! It's over! Oh my Smith. god! 